on a building off 21st Street in Sacramento. This mural right here is in a di direct action uh, against all the narratives out there that we're not people. This is a mural to remember China Gibson. She was a transgender performer from Sacramento, killed in New Orleans last year. This is kind of full circle for you yeah. because you were one of the first early reporters to cover her murder. I first met Ebony Harper last year. She helped put up this mural with a message in bold on the corner. We don't deserve protections. We don't deserve any rights because we're not even people. But um, we are, clearly. Harper ran away from home at 14 years old. Uh, my parents are from Jamaica. They didn't really understand my journey. Uh, so I ran away from home. It's not uncommon to hear in the transgender community. My journey started when I was very, very young. Um, I've been on my own since I'm 11 years old. They're all together to share with me how they feel about a memo circulating from the Trump administration about rolling back <laughs> protections. They okay. say it's an attack. When I heard about it this morning, um, I, I can't say that I was surprised. By limiting people, their gender expression, gender and sex to just genitalia. They wanted me to know, for everyone to know, they won't stop fighting. The reason why I'm so passionate about this is because I'm a transgender woman, you know, um, and I live my life um, in its fullest every single day. A strive to be acknowledged and respected for today, in the future, and in memory for those no longer with us. My story isn't unique. My story is a thousand other trans people's story. You know, we all sh share that common story. In Sacramento, Ananda Rochita, ABC 10 News.